With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students. Let's start the question. The major product of the following reaction is so we have a dibromoalkane over here, yes, and the reagents which have been given is KOH in presence of methanol and heating will give us. So let us analyze the reaction. Obviously, it is of the elimination type because this time we have KOH which will be acting as a base, yes, since we have an alcohol solvent, yes, alcohol as a solvent. So CH3OH is a solvent which is going to serve over here yes and hence it would definitely favor an elimination mechanism yeah so let us write down our reactant our dear reactant is with one two three four five and six carbon atoms yes so ch3 ch ch2 ch ch2 and ch3 yes and we are having a bromo group on the second and on the fourth position. Yes. So elimination mechanism would be taking place at both the locations. Yes. Now let us predict as to what would be the possible products from this particular reaction. Yes. So in presence of our alcoholic KOH, that is CH3OH, KOH, an E2 mechanism will be in operation. Yes. So in that case, the simultaneous removal, okay, the simultaneous removal of Br minus and H plus would be taking place. Yes, okay. So the location from where the Br minus would depart away, the beta hydrogens would be departing away from those particular carbons which are adjacent to the carbon bearing the Br. Yes, obviously when I say a beta hydrogen is going to eliminate out, definitely it means it's the adjacent carbon. Yes, so over here as you can see, we are having three types of beta hydrogens. Yes, so it's beta 1, beta 2 and beta 3. Okay, all of them are totally unique in nature. Okay, they are completely different from each other. And in that case, what we are going to do is we are going to lay down the products in which we would be predicting as to if beta 1 hydrogen departs away, yes, what would be the alkene? If beta 2 is going to depart away, what would be the alkene? And if beta 3 is departing away, what would be the alkene form? Yes. So basically, my beta 2 hydrogen over here is going to serve itself for this particular carbon bearing the bromo group as well as this one okay because it's the beta hydrogen for both of them yeah so definitely we would be looking into this case as to what would be the alkenes being formed yes and what is going to be the major product so let us have a look so from the respective carbon bearing the br groups yes the respective beta hydrogens would be removed okay so the very first removal of two beta hydrogens from the either of the beta hydrogens yes so let us catch hold of beta 1 okay and the other one would be beta 2 yes okay so the very first alkene which i would be able to sort from this is going to be as follows the structure would be ch2 double bond ch dash ch double bond CH dash CH2 CH3 okay fine next the loss of beta 1 once again and beta 3 hydrogens yes so let us have a look at the formed alkene first is definitely going to be beta 1 so CH2 double bond CH then comes in your CH2 it remains intact. Next is CH, double bond CH and CH3. Since I said that it would be the elimination of beta 1 and beta 3 hydrogen. Yes. Okay. Now what next? Next would be 
the loss of beta 2 and beta 3 okay because beta 1 and beta 2 was done beta 1 and beta 3 was done so these two positions were left beta 2 and beta 3 simultaneously yeah okay so in that case we would be having the product to be formed as follows so this ch3 remains intact here is your ch so the adjacent carbon for this cbr is going to be beta 2 okay so let us put it that put it that way next ch and then double bond ch ch3 perfect yes so this is your third alkene third diene which has been formed and the last but not the least is wherein as instructed earlier that beta 2 is totally common to both of these carbon atoms bearing the br groups yes so we would be having the loss of 2 h plus ions from the beta 2 position itself yeah so what will be the alkene a very small amount of it okay because this is going to be a consecutive one i mean the double bond would be located on the adjacent carbons okay have a look so this is going to be ch3 ch double bond c double bond ch ch2 ch3 in fact one hydrogen is lost for this one one hydrogen is lost for this one and hence this is what is going to be the result now among these given alkenes or the alkadienes to be very specific which of them would be the most stable okay in fact that the one which is going to be the most stable is going to be the major product yes so let us have a look if you go to see your product number a okay let me first of all label them as a b c and d okay one thing is for sure that my d product cannot be stable okay obviously due to the presence of the two adjacent pi bonds on the adjacent positions yes and definitely that is going to cause a lot of repulsion so in that case we would check off the fact and most importantly if we go to observe we need to look into some more substituted alkenes okay what is it more substituted alkenes or alkadienes i would say yes and that is what would be the reason to be more stable yes okay so now let us have a look the first one is showing me a ch2 group over here now this itself is a sorry event because obviously ch2 which means both of the hydrogens are non substituted as compared to this one, if I go to see the third one, the third product, okay, that is C, look at it. I have these two and these two as doubly bonded carbons, yes, among which one carbon is definitely monosubstituted, yes, whereas the other one is also monosubstituted, yeah. So, in fact, it's a disubstituted one, okay, and most importantly, it's a conjugated diene if you go to see yes it's a conjugated diene obviously you would question that even a is conjugated diene now but no the scene is that here's a, it's a ch2 unit which is a non-substituted one and hence we cannot rank this as the very first one as compared to c yes c is substituted as well as conjugated yes and that adds on to its stability part isn't it B is a non-conjugated, again non-substituted one on this position and D we have already chucked it off. So obviously our C product is going to be the major product for this particular reaction due to its conjugation and the substitution part. Yes, and this particular product reflects in our option number one. Yes, so in short option number one would be the correct product. I hope you understood the explanation. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.